Well, after some eight months behind bars, former Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane is now a free woman. Kane was serving time for perjury and obstruction charges. She was released from prison this morning, two months early. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live from Scranton with her release. Cody? Candace, good evening. Kane was released on good behavior. The Montgomery County District Attorney, whose office prosecuted Kane, says Kane's incarceration incarceration quote closes this unfortunate chapter for the people of Pennsylvania. With a smile on her face, Kathleen Kane walked out of Montgomery County Correctional Facility as a free woman Wednesday morning at around 830. <laughs> Family members excitement grew as she gets in the back seat of this vehicle to head home. Kane returned to her Waverly Township estate just before noon. In late November, Kane reported to the Philadelphia County Jail to serve a 10 to 23 month sentence. Three years ago, she was convicted of perjury and other charges for leaking secret grand jury information and then lying to cover it up. She appealed and was denied. If the average Joe did the same crime she did, the punishment would have been way steeper. So I think that her punishment should have put the crime regarding who she was. I guess nobody's above the law and, and uh, she served her time and she's going to serve the penalty just like everybody else is accountable. And I believe she is too. In 2013, Kane was the first female woman and Democrat ever elected to the Pennsylvania Attorney General's office. The people of Pennsylvania watched her success peak and fall. I don't think uh, she took her job seriously to be able to get caught up in, in that type of scandal. Ahead of Kathleen Kane going to jail in November, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ordered to have her law license removed. She will not be able to apply for a reinstatement until 2024. In Scranton, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Cody, thank you. Kathleen Kane will remain on parole for 15 months, which is the remainder of her sentence. The former state attorney general will then serve one year probation.